So I want to try something new today, uh, at least new for me. Um, usually I'm creating short films or tutorials or working on music videos. Um, but also I love playing video games like so many other people do. But I feel like coming from a filmmaking standpoint, I'm kind of I'm looking at the visuals in almost like a different way. And a lot of work that I do is in Unreal Engine. So I'm kind of working in video game engines as it is for video work. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to start doing a few reaction videos on primarily like video game cinematics. So like trailers or in-game cutscenes, stuff that's really cinematic and that feels almost like like movie clips or a movie trailer. And I thought it'd be really fun to do some reactions, kind of break down um, either like inspiration that I'm getting from it or some technical aspects of like, oh, that's why the camera moves that way or whatever, you know, all, all, all the cool stuff that, that inspires us as creatives. But yeah, this is brand new. So let me know in the comments how it goes, if you care for this at all. But I'm going to try to bang out a few of these and and kind of go from there. First up, I have Helldivers because um, I have wanted to try this. I actually own the game, but the servers have been down and haven't been able to actually play it. So I was like, I should boot up this uh, opening cinematic and kind of do a, a, a live watch of it. I actually skipped past it um, the previous time I was trying to boot up the game. So I haven't even seen it. Don't know what it is, but um, you so you'll get my uh, genuine reaction and we'll uh, we'll kind of feel this out and, and have some fun with it. So without any further ado, uh, let's uh, let's boot this up. All right, let's boot her up. Super Earth. Oh, Super Earth. Our home. Prosperity. Liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy. Oh, this is like Our funny. Way of life. Oh, hello. I thought it was going to be more like like a, like a more serious thing. This is like but funny. Doesn't come free. Oh. No. Sweet liberty. No. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself cool. that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the oh. Helldivers. Oh my gosh. The handheld shots. See exotic new Why is this music so good? Yeah. <laughs> and spread manifold <laughs> the back. throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Yeah, this is sick. Become a legend. Become a helldiver. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. So right off the bat, something I love here, I'll just go back to the beginning here. Like the t the tonal changes are wild in this, um, but like in a good way, in a way that keeps you on your toes and you're not you don't know what to expect. Right. It's not just funny the whole time. It's not serious the whole time. It started off almost a little serious, like with this big um, opening cinematic shot is absolutely gorgeous. This feels like like really big and epic. And then it's like a commercial. This is like this is like a this is like an all state commercial all of a sudden. Liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy. This is so fun. I am okay, so first off, blown away with just where we're at with with any of this 3D stuff, like for games. I mean games used to um, you know, shy away from really showcasing um, facial features, but it's like there's so much detail on his face, so much expression. It's really, really cool. This is really nice setup. The lighting's nice and bright, which is really cool. Yeah, it's, it feels like a commercial and I love it because I actually thought that this was like just like a funny thing. And I was like, oh, I thought there was supposed to be like fighting. <laughs> his family or neighbors or whatever get massacred here. That's a really, really cool shot, though. The impact. Oh, man. Yeah, there's so many like little details even in this. This is really cool. 
you got the kid's toy here on the bottom right. But if you notice, like as the creature's coming in, it's actually like kicking up dirt and breaking probably like clay pots, like maybe that was like holding some flowers and stuff. Um, so just things to add, like elements of of energy right into the scene. So it's not just a moving creature, but you also have some elements blowing into the scene as well to help usher like the whole the like just the momentum of this whole creature right in is wild. I like that it starts lower and it kind of grows like up into the scene. So it occupies a lot more space of the screen. It's only on for a few seconds or like a second, a few frames, I should say, um, but it grows. So you don't even realize how big the creature is at first until this part of the shot. So it actually starts like lower and grows up. So it, it, even for such a short shot, it really gives you a sense of like panic as a viewer. Cause you're like, whoa, it's big. That's cool. And of course, cutting away right before she is uh, impaled. Oh, oh, now see, that's pretty dark. I thought it was her. It's actually good. It's absolutely going for the kid first. Oh, no. Yeah, he knocks him down and you can see the giant talent is coming down. And uh, oh, yeah, that's coming right for the kid's head. Ugh. Yeah, that's fun. Um, well, fun. The blood effect. OK, so then it's just comedy. Oh, wait, it was a commercial. I like this. That's a good that's a good spin because he's able to like act a little over the top. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself. Now, see, that's a cool effect that um, I've seen people do, or uh, like like the quick change. And you can do that like practically filming with a camera. You have an actor hold in spot and then you snap and you go to the next scene. Um, I've done that where you can overlay, you can film your footage one way. Right. You film with your actor on set, then you have them change into whatever costume you want. You have them stand back in the scene again and then you can overlay your previous image like on your monitor so I can see my actor or actress already lined up. I can move them in the new costuming right into the right position you need them in. And you can say three, two, one action and they're already lined up. And then all you have to do is a quick jump cut. Obviously, with this being a 3D model, it doesn't really matter. You can line it up easily. But this effect is very doable uh, practically. That you have the strength and the courage to be free. Joy. Now we're coming into the, the stuff. Okay, so like this, this is just like straight out of Halo. This is so so sick. Obviously, Halo being incredibly inspirational for any any sci-fi lover, uh, whether you're a gamer or not. There's it's Halo's influences are in everything. This is very cool. Okay, so this is so cool. I noticed even the first time watching, there's so much happening on scene. You're obviously your your focal point is on the character up front, but in every single scene, because it's such a short trailer, they really are trying to capture your attention with like rewatchability. There's so much going on. So for instance, you have this guy up front talking and doing his movement, but in the background, they're straight up just massacring this bug. However, if you look on the right hand side of the screen, it's like a whole nest here. And there's so many cool details. I am obsessed with like alien tendrils, alien goo, alien gore, like that kind of stuff. Ooh, say whack my mic. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, I'm obsessed with that. And so like this over here, just the bright yellow tendrils of like whatever this thing is for the nest. So sick. Like those textures is disgusting. And even with this, you can see then over the ridge is an, this is man, this is such a cool shot. It's such a quick shot, but so much happens because you're first locked on him. You have two guys in the background shooting a creature. Your eyes may wander over and look at the nest, but then they're also going to come back to this bug popping up over the top. And I love that. Oh, you actually see even more bugs kind of, kind of being revealed that are not there in the first shot. So I love this idea of like things being revealed over the course of even a short shot. Right. So the previous one, when the creature was jumping out and, and killed the, the mom and the kid, like it started off smaller and it grew and it gave you the sense of like, oh, it's getting bigger. And I feel like this is the same exact tactic where even though the shot is only a couple seconds long, it's still taking you through an entire journey right within the shot and giving you so much to look at. Obsessed. I love. OK, so I love the handheld. I'm um, as a filmmaker, I tend to gravitate towards handheld versus like using like a gimbal or sticks. I just I feel like you're in the action more. And this just feels so good, like moving from character to character. 
everything's so nicely backlit. Like this is such a really cool atmosphere to 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 showcase this. It feels really cinematic and vibrant and big. Um, having all these just really really nice golden hour light casting on these guys, so cool. See exotic new life. Okay, this thing is sick. There's so many textures. Sense of scale is important because we've kind of set up. Um, these smaller creatures in the previous scenes. And now we have an idea of how big those are, right? They're a little bit taller than a person, right? roughly the size of like a car. And so when the camera whips over, you are now grounded as a viewer, first time viewer, you already know how big this thing is. If you were to show this shot first, you would be, you'd be hard pressed to know how big it is, right? Because you could wonder if the little critters um, are the size of a dog or the size of a, you know, a, a frog. I mean, this thing, you know, you don't really know. So I think this is really smart. They establish scale based off of a human. And then as this, as this trailer progresses, you see bigger and bigger things with reference to the previous creatures. So this is so sick because you now know as a viewer exactly how big this thing is and how threatening it is. Just kidding. It's head blew up. It's not threatening at all. That's such a cool shot. Explosions that kind of go in like a two part. Yeah, you can even hear it in the sound. The th -doosh. Like this is such a cool impact. You have the physical projectile going in and then like the first boom from the inside and then the skin finally actually ripping apart and going across. I know it's gross, but like it literally is giving you with like a thum -doo -doo like it's it's subtle, but it gives way more impact than just one boom and it's done. It's like it's taking you through a, through a journey audibly, but also visually you can see doo -doo you can see it come out in parts, which is so sick. New life forms. And spread managed democracy. And then, of course, in the background, the, the famous uh, raising of the flag, the American flag scene uh, recreated with an alien. So sick. There's just gore flying everywhere. This is a really, comp really cool composed shot. About the galaxy. Yeah, because once again, there's just lots going. There's so much to look at in the in the even this shot. Hero. The little high five with the uh, with the gore coming off as a high five. Be That's sick. Become a hero. Become this is this is like a good old classic Michael Bay like un undershot. Actually, what's missing? If it was going to be a true Michael Bay, I would have had like the camera pivot right, like doing actual like dolly. So it's like doing like a slow like 180 around the guy. But this is really cool. Nice strong, uh, nice strong presentation with the ships coming in. Legend. Become yeah, and then you got the the final framing here. This is this looks so good. This is so cool. Yeah, so I mean, I I love. I think this is such a good example of how to like do a cool trailer in a short amount of time. I'm obsessed with this idea of like not everything has to be like big and meaty and long. This is a minute and a half, and it takes you on uh, a journey of. Uh, trying to figure out exactly the tone of it. So, and then they kind of hit you with a few different tones, which I think is really cool. I think secondly, the action was really, really smart where they really, I thought they did a really good job of showcasing just a lot of detail in every single shot, which is really cool. Always something to look at. Even like this one is probably my favorite shot because there's just the most going on here and, and it constantly reveals information. Even though it's such a short shot, it's like three seconds long and, and there's so much to look at. Really, really cool. Yeah, I feel like this really um, rewards you for rewatching a lot of, this is such a good example of like, somebody with a really good filmmaking eye made this. There was a story to be told and there's a lot of really well executed moments in this. And it's not just like cool graphics for the sake of cool graphics. It's like super intentional. And yeah, this slaps, absolutely slaps. I'm, I'm, I'm inspired, personally inspired, because I love sci-fi stuff. I love alien stuff. And I sometimes I tend to go towards more of like the serious route, but I love that this has a little bit of humor in it. Obviously influenced by like a Starship Troopers movie, but um, they're still doing their own thing with it. And I think that's amazing. The bug designs are amazing. Uh, yeah, this slap. I'm actually super excited to play the game um, now. And this was fun. This was fun. So I'll definitely hit some more up with these. Leave me know. Uh, leave me know. Leave me know. Let me know in the comments. Um, what other trailers you'd like to see? And I'd love to start breaking down more and kind of go into any insights that I have from like how to film one of these shots practically or how they might be, you know, how you might interpret that for for real life filmmaking. So in the meantime, I'm going to bounce. But yeah, thanks for joining me on this and I uh, hope to see you around. See you.